Hey, I am starting this live again. The last one didn't have sound because I had the ear pods that didn't have a speaker on it. So I'm in Alison, Norway right now. Me and my daughter are on a 12-day cruise through Norway on MSC on my other channel, Single Mom Fun and Child I'm, um, Travel. We're going to be talking about what's it like. Uh, 10, 10 recommend for single moms. We're also going to do another cruise where... Um, I'm going to shout out to other single moms to join us for fun. Um, and I'll probably do that over spring break. It'll probably be a five day cruise, but perfect for moms who still like to travel, upwardly mobile, and want to give their kids access to different things. Uh, she likes it, except we're on MSC, which is an Italian carrier, we're on a uh, European cruise to Norway. So she's just like, okay, next time we do it, let's do America. Because I can't talk to, only going to talk to a few of the kids, right? So something to do. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to start on this because um, if I know what I know now, I could have been doing this a lot sooner. <laughs> and I'm like, no one ever just said it in a way that needed to be said that could have had me doing this a lot sooner and not being as bothered. So I said the three things you need to uh, quit your job, semi-retire at 41, and travel the world. So the first thing is going to be a little obvious, but the other two are not, okay? Um, but the first sort of interesting um, is get rid of debt. And that one is, you don't know, you know, there's good debt, bad debt, use debts for investments. So I will caveat it, say, like, if you have, like, a $500 or $300 mortgage on an investment property, but it cash flows you $500 a year, okay, you can keep that one because it's paying for itself, Right. But I just want to tell you guys what I've been faced with. When I finally got out of credit card debt. And, um, uh, man, that's when I could start traveling. Because all of a sudden, my monthly expenses went from $2,500, $2,000 a month to literally $500. And when your expenses are $500, that is a different world. And it's just something people know to get out of debt. But I think as investors, we're really taught, like, good debt, bad debt. It's not this thing. But that's the first, and I wanted to go into it because once you do that, you can survive off a little bit, but we don't consider that. So even if you took 10 years to get out of debt, it's worth it because at that point, quitting your job and retiring, as I'm going to show you, is not that crazy or difficult, okay? So, oh, just an introduction for those who don't know me who are new to the channel. My name is Lisa Phillips. I've been investing in rental properties in some way in capacity for 10 years. Um, people reach out to me for free consultations so they can invest in rental properties and I help them do that. You can reach out to me. I have the link below on how you can do it and schedule a free 30 minute consult. If you link off of this video, that's a special offer to anyone who watches my, my videos um, instead of paying the normal fee. Um, so I help people invest in long distance long away. They only have 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars to invest the normal typical way invest. It's just too expensive for them to do it. And so they reach out to me. I teach them how to find houses that cost 30, 40, 50 K a thousand dollars and invest with those. So that's what I've been doing for 10 years. It's low cost investing. It's minority neighborhoods, low cost neighborhoods. It's you live in DC or California, but we find a place in, you know, different parts of the States that we fly in, hook it up, set it up and get it running so you can cash flow. Um, um, and it works very, 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 very well, as you can see, because uh, I am semi-retired, only work when I want to, and I'm traveling the world. And I wanted to talk about what got me here, and it's a lot easier, and it's what no one else talks about. So I just went over the first one, get out of debt. And that one's very obvious. Now, I didn't say you have to get out of all debt. Like if you have a rental property or something making you money, or say you have debt on a laundromat, and that's making you money, or you have debt on something, but it's making you money. Okay, you can keep that. Because it's paying for itself. But all that other debt, like, look, I love debt. Americans, we have so much, and it's such a little chain, right? It keeps us so enslaved. You know, you need, like, I needed an oven, and I could pay cash for the oven, or I could put it on my Lowe's card or Best Buy card and get the oven and pay it off over time. Like, it's so insidious. We have Klarna. We have all of that that we could pay over time, which is great that you pay over time. But it's insidious, so I would say... If you guys are really serious, getting out of debt. Now, I know some of you guys might consider bankruptcy, but that will sort of inhibit the travel, especially if you need to pay for it with travel credit cards just for points or just to get um, things. But uh, yeah, getting out of debt is the first. And if I knew then what I know now, I would have made getting out of debt my priority seven years ago. I just didn't know how freeing it was. I just didn't know how it kept me tied. And it kept me to a job that I maybe not have wanted to do or wanted. 
So what happens after you get out of debt? Well, then all of a sudden your living expenses aren't that much. When you're not paying $250 for this card, $170 for this loan, $200 for this card, especially at these 29% interest rates, when you're not paying that, your monthly living expenses can get cut down to like $800 a month. And if you're making two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 a month, all of a sudden it's not that hard, okay, like to live off of a lot less and still be okay. So the first thing is to get out of debt because it made me realize my living expenses are not that. I live to pay debt because that I've encouraged. And I'm so mad I sold a rental property, paid it all off. And I'm like, I could have used that money to like buy, I found 30,000 euro apartments in France. Like I could have used it to sub 30K France. <laughs> I think I'm mad. So I have to build back up to do it, right? But I just didn't realize it. So right, a lot of us are living to pay off debt. And I know I was tempted, man, not to pay any of it, but I did. I'm like, I can buy a whole house with this, but I paid it off. Um, that's annoying, but it is, it is going to work out long term in this world that we created for me to do that. So if you get to if you spend five, 10 years doing that, that is going to be a game changer. So one is get out of debt. And um, that's not with real estate. But the other two are with real estate that you can do to semi-retire and travel the world. The other one is to lose your ego and trying to keep your status. Um, I'm driving an old car. I'm driving an old car. It's 2006 Honda Civic. It works. I had to do about $1,500 a year worth of maintenance. Like, oh, a belt. You know, it has 256,000 miles. It's cute. I don't have too many scratches on it. It works really well. It drives really well. I just got to maintain it, but it's keep going. I have all the parts because there's so many 2006 Honda Civics still on the road. And I wanted a Lexus. Like, you know, you have a dream card, your BMW, this and that. Mine is a Lexus. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, I want the Lexus. I got to work. <laughs> no longer can be semi-retired. Mm -hmm. Semi-retired, I can live off of $2,2500. I don't have to work. If I go into debt for that because I'm supposed to be a certain thing or da 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 da, da and my ego gets in the way and I have to front for everyone to let them know that I'm important, I can't do what I'm doing right now. And I'm in Norway right now, okay? And I'm saying that because it just, it needs to be said, and I wish I just would have known this 10 years ago. I wish you could have been like, F the Jones, or F are the Jones going to get you semi-retired and traveling the world? No. Is people thinking you're rich or have money and means going to get you traveling the world sooner? No. Are, are people thinking that you got it made and that you made all this money? And then flaunting that in an obviously new car with a, with a name brand? Is that going to have you semi-retired and not having to work? No. It's the exact opposite. So, um, and then you want to know what? I'm going to tell you what it's like on this side. You're actually doing what you want, and they're not. That's what it's like on this side. So, ego, status, all those symbols, right? I get it. I like it, too. Especially in the black community, we've had so much nothing. I think especially in our culture, it really means something when you can floss, okay? It really means something. We came from poverty, sharecropping, one generation away from that, right? So, yeah, it even means even more to us to save face or have this face um, that we're doing when, we're, when we make some money or you become a nurse or you get that engineering job. Like, it's even more so than in other cultures because they've at least had something and we didn't. But I will tell you on the other side, you not having to work or put up with a job that you don't want is even better, okay? Being able to semi-retire and maybe you do DoorDash or Uber Eats or like I did with my real estate. So my property, if you, you can go look at the other videos about, you know, I rent out per room on Airbnb. Um, with one room on a high season, I make about 1600 with one room. On a low season, about 800 to 1000 um, I'm about to rent a second room, right? So let's see if we get, you know, eight to 100 to 1500 with the second room, right? I can live off of that, even with those exorbitant fees Airbnb takes. Um, but I'm also open to switching right now. I'm, I'm talking to people who, oh, nurses and whatnot, to have it full time because it's about equivalent the amount, um, um, equivalent the amount, and so with my house, I'm able to earn income where I can now that my debt's gone, 
my expenses are like a thousand a month and I got a kid, you know, I got a kid. Like she don't eat that much. Like, we shop at the Goodwill. My mom took me and seven kids to the Goodwill. My daughter can go. Yes, I have assets. Yes, my net worth is, you know, nice, right? But, you know, I honestly don't buy anything firsthand anymore because I'm like, what? I like buying like a nice chair for $15 at the thrift store, and, like using it for 10 years. If anyone ever broke into my house, you're not getting anything new at all. Like none of the furniture's new. I buy all of my furniture secondhand. I don't spend more than 50 bucks at a time. Like you're just not going to get me. I get everything I need or. And so, um, and so and I'm just doing this because I'm just talking about your house can be your rental. So if you have rental properties, you can do it through that. So the reason I was able to pay off my houses and my mortgages is because of these low cost properties. I held them for 10 years. And I don't know if you've noticed if anyone bought any property in 2009, if they bought property in 2008, you have property in 2013, which I did all of those. Well, they appreciated in value. They five times their value. Okay, one house I bought for twenty five thousand, I sold for two ten in January, um, and they were happy to have it because there's nothing else on the market in Richmond, and I was like a mile and a half from VCU. Um, that was in Richmond. The other house I just sold was in Columbus, and that was thirty five thousand I purchased at, and I sold it for one thirty six, eleven thousand over asking price. So that's a ten year turnaround. But when you're buying at the bottom of the market strategically, not just any cheap house, because some of them aren't gonna appreciate like that but it's very easy um, when I work with my clients to show them how to make sure that they know that this will be an appreciating asset and how to read the market and those factors you can so that's one way I did it with real estate I got out of debt with real estate um, paid off my debt without with real estate you know and just having it for that 10 year turnaround time is just enough but I was cash flowing the whole time now in the house in Columbus not too much maybe a couple hundred a month because I bought it for my residence that is an investment but the Richmond property, it was like 800. You know, I bought it as an investment. So the numbers are a lot higher. But that's one way to get out of debt with real estate investing. Now, the other thing you can do with real estate, this is your home real estate. I rent rooms. I'm converting my garage into another rental. So that's three rooms, okay? <laughs> and then the garage is standalone, so it has a higher premium than renting out a room, right? You know, an Airbnb or through long-term renters. Just say I had long-term renters in three rooms. Right now, that's $800 a month, $2,400. That's livable. You get more because of the way you're renting it out. All of a sudden, because you're out of debt, you can use your home real estate, your own investing in your own house as a way to do that. Okay, so you don't even have a house. And this goes into third point. Think outside the box. Stop limiting yourself. Say you had an apartment. Get roommates. And I know that sounds so simple, but, you know, I am a real estate investor, but I remember when I had... When I was in, I mean, I had roommates when I was in college. And like I said, the ego, you got to get rid of that. That's one of the things when your ego says, well, you don't have roommates when you're older. Well, you also have to keep working jobs you don't like and you, you that you don't like. And your housing expenses are a lot higher. And um, I just want to say, you know, I have a kid and I still rent rooms, right? I just make sure I get other women. That's what I'm comfortable with. So having a daughter in the house. No men, really. Mm -mm. Um, maybe if they're a couple. But um, it doesn't have to be this horror story. Like we're, we, you get better at like this one woman try to get the house and she has an eviction. I'm like, no, you don't pay. So there's ways to bet this will become good and for you to do your research to do it really well so that you're really comfortable with it. But like get rid of that ego and status and not worrying about it. And it's definitely for me a choice. It's like I can hustle really hard and fly business class and first class and stay at the nice hotels. and. Um, keep working the 40 to 50, 60 hour work week and get the Lexus instead of riding my Honda Civic into the ground. It's such a choice, right? But I'm like, oh, I'll do all that. And what, what do I get out of that? I don't get to travel. I'm not, I don't get to go to Norway. I don't get to homeschool my kid. I don't get to spend time with her when I need. I'm like teaching her a foreign language because I have the time to teach her a foreign language right? as an American kid. So it's this thing where it's just like, oh, do I need a new couch or can I get one on Goodwill or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, right? I'm so thankful sometimes that I grew up poor because I've had money and I still have money, but it's like in my assets and maybe it's not like as much, but I don't have to work. And it's just such a beautiful place. And I just wish I would have known this before. And so, like I said, if they get out of debt, I wish I would have known that five, six years ago. I would have made it a big issue because I didn't realize I was working to pay off debt. And then when you get a little bit of the ego and status, and it's just such a visceral thing. I can pay, you know, 
$200 for a DKNY dress, or I can find one in my measurements off Poshmark for $22. And now you get used to buying $22. I don't even know how to pay for expensive stuff anymore. And it's still, you still look nice, still present, you know, I still present myself well, like, you know, it's, you know, and I also supplement with Amazon Marketplace because they have $22 bodysuits, which I love how bodysuits fit, fit on me. Um, so easy. And so all of a sudden you get to this place where it's like, no, I'm not getting the Lexus. I don't want to work. <laughs> I'm driving on to Civic. And if you guys have been following me for any length of time, some of you are new, but anyone follow me, I, who, I did not come to this world to work the rest of my life like a slave. And when you get rid of the ego and status, all of a sudden doing DoorDash or Uber or a lot of families are watching my stuff. They have an extra bedroom. And now I got some of you guys going, well, maybe there's some college students we can rent to for some extra income or the conversion of the garage, but they just didn't, you know, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to have all the money and we don't like we have debt. And so getting out of the debts first. So for a lot of you guys, yeah. So for a lot of you guys, you can do this. You can do this a lot easier. Even if you have to put yourself on a plan where it's like three years, I'll be out of debt, four years. And yeah, for some of us, you don't have a rental property that's appreciating in value two, three years. Just do it. Trust me. And then when you can shift off the ego and the mindset, man, you can have so much, you're going to have so much more fun in life. I'm telling you, like I wake up, I go for a walk. I eat a healthy meal. I do carnivore diet. That's working really well for me losing weight. Lost like 10 pounds in the last couple weeks. Um, what else? I think of someplace else I want to travel to and then I start researching ways to travel to it on a budget because I am on a budget. <laughs> no more first class. <laughs> right. But I get to go and have fun. And I like staying in hostels. I don't know. You can get your own private rooms in hostels. It's just a really good way to meet people, especially. Um, I'm on the carnivore diet. It's where you only eat fatty meats and I can't eat all fatty meats. So no pork. I don't know. My body can only eat like a little bit of bacon. But that's it. But mostly I eat eggs. Like I'm walking around Norway right now and I have hard boiled eggs from the cruise ship and I get hard boiled eggs and cheese um, or scrambled eggs or egg pancakes are really good. Just put a little sugar. Um, um, yeah. Put a little, not sh real sugar, um, sugar substitute. I use stevia um, and monk fruit. Uh, so you egg pancakes, egg, egg crepes are really good too. Um, egg, there's egg custard, there's egg cake. <laughs> Well, eggs are really like my body loves eggs. Like I can just eat eggs. It's like a whole protein. Um, so I'll eat like prime rib. Um, so I'm on the cruise, right? I eat, like prime rib. I I'm just a little doing this because I know this is new for some of you guys, but it works really well. So I eat, um, prime rib. Um, I'll eat like the pizza, but just like the cheese and the pepperoni. Um, and they had a uh, like prime rib. They had some roasted, a little bit of roasted pork, but they had some roast chicken, some other type of chicken, some really good codfish from Jamaica. They had an international thing from Jamaica. So just things like that is what I'm eating, which is really good. Like barbecue ribs, just a little bit. Brisket, it's really good. Um, chicken, uh, the whole chicken. It doesn't have to be the dark meat, which I usually like. I can eat the whole chicken. So that's um, – so I lost 10 pounds with that and walking. So I do you – know, so I have a, a Fitbit. I'm at 15,000 steps. So if I do 20,000 steps a day, which is about two to three hours worth of walking a day, um, I lose weight. So it's really easy. I've done all these other things. Like I skated and do this, but some reason walking just, it just leeches off of you. I've done skating. I've done running. I've done this, that, so whatever. So that's what I do. So I, I get up, I think of a meal. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do short ribs or I'm going to do burgers or I'm going to do this. And I put it on my George Foreman grill um, or, you know, roast chicken or rotisserie chicken, whatever. Um, this is what I do. And then I start researching cheap places I can travel to or how to get to there cheaply, which for me involves like flying into Geneva, Switzerland and taking like a Flix bus overnight to like Paris. <laughs> but like the Flix bus is 30 bucks. So that's why I love it over here. It's so easy to travel um, cheaply. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. And it's because I got out of debt and it's because I'm choosing to goodwill at thrift store with my kid versus buying the latest. And I'm telling you guys on this side, you don't look rich. Like you look nor like I look nice. Like you look nice. Like Nothing looks bad. Like Amazon is fine. Goodwill is fine. Poshmark is fine. Right? Like $22 dresses of Poshmarks are just fine. $22 dresses and shirts of Amazon are fine. Um, you look, it's, it's just so freeing. So yeah, this raggedy 2006 Honda Civic, I'm going to keep driving because if I get a Lexus, you know, $500 for the mortgage, no, and then $200 for the insurance, $700? Every two months, that's two vacations. You know what I mean? So I don't want to do that. Like, <laughs>
So that's the thing. So lose the ego and the status. And like I said, you know, sometimes you have to learn it the hard way. Some of you guys just going to have to do it and learn um, and get on the other end. But if you can listen and pay attention, it's not worth it. It honestly isn't. Unless you just want to be a slave and work the rest of your life like crazy because you actually can't survive. And the third is think outside the box. So I told you like your real estate investing, you can use your house to generate income. You can get roommates. Um, this is so true. This is so true. So I was dating a contractor. He makes 30000 a month. He looks so homeless because he's dirty all the time. So he doesn't like shave all the time. It is, he has a beat up pickup truck, but he's like, you know how much I have to pay if I get one of those brand new spanking new F 150s everyone has? So he has this old truck with the V6, but has all these tools inside, like straight up bummy looking, right? Like, but he's not. <laughs> you know, when we were together, we were traveling really well, you know, traveling very well, right? Whatever we wanted. But um, yeah, you're correct. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true because we don't like giving up the money. We we are very cerebral about it. Like, and I'm not rich, but I do have a, I have net worth and assets. Yes, um, I wouldn't call myself rich. There's people I meet way richer than me, but man, I'm happy because the ego and the status and get it rid of that is going out the window in search of having my own time and being able to live off less. And the debt is want to get it. And so the outside the box thinking is, what can you do that can give you the income once you pay off your debt? What can you do to give you the income that doesn't require you to be there 40 hours a week? Can you be a medical courier? Can you work part time? Can you, people, these people making six figures dog walking, which FYI, I need to start because I do like walking <laughs> my 20,000 steps. Um, but like you're making significant funds, right? And so just, Start thinking outside the box of what it has to look like. And once you get rid of the ego and status and having to let everyone know that you've made it, once you get rid of that, gosh, there's so much freedom because then you just do what you need to do. And then you have so much more time. So if all of us got rid of this in America and just got that mindset, we wouldn't be overworked. A lot of us would be working 15, 20 hours a week. We would have enough. We would have maybe roommates or friends or our moms living in helping with the rent. But, you know, so maybe we're not paying $1,200, $1,300 for our mortgage. We're paying $500 because we have some supplement in some way. We will have more socialization, more camaraderie, less mental health issues, right? Living with people. And the ability to semi-retire where it's like, well, because I got rid of all this debt I incurred once I got that real big job and those big funds. I could live off 2000 a month. And at 2000 a month, I don't have to work crazy amount, especially once you have skill sets and a career. You can work part time and supplement and actually do what you want. So I just wanted to come. Those are the three things that really are game changing. I have a feeling, though, you guys might be like me, which are which is hard headed. And you're just going to have to learn the hard way. I really feel because people said this, but no one said it like this. I wish I would have had someone say what I'm saying to you now like this because it always was travel. I wish someone was just like get out of debt. Right. Because that's really going to keep you working and chained and having high cost of living. Get out of the debt. Keep the old stuff. Lose the status and thinking what you have to do. Use real estate investing or your home as an asset to generate income. So then you don't have to work. So I don't have to work making 2400 a month with roommates. I just don't. Right. And that's one way of using real estate. Converting the garage is one way of bringing in income. And all of a sudden, what do you have to do? And I have a kid and she goodwills and we eat nice. Right. We don't eat out. That's not even healthy anyways. But you can. And so I just wish someone would have said this. And then, yeah, you can travel every. So I'm, I'm on a travel schedule for every two months. So every six weeks, I take a trip. I'm trying to get it as cheap as possible. I found two low-cost carriers. They're like the Spirit Airlines of flying from America over there. One is Play Air. Um, go to playair.com. Um, just keep your cost low. Keep it, you know, don't check a big bag. Check a small one, right? I'm getting good at the carry-on. Um, also, don't be, don't be, you know, you don't have to get the extra leg room, right? <laughs> You know, so I can get like with two months, six weeks notice, I can get a trip to Paris or Geneva or different parts of France for about $700. That's included everything. But if you do it a little bit earlier, you have four or five months, you can get that down to 400, 500. And I think that is completely doable. And then the way that I do my travel, like I just get a kitchen. I don't like Airbnb. Um, they're not getting my money anymore because I've had horrible hosts. And uh, I'm a great host. FYI, I will post my Airbnb up there and you'll see. I get 
raving reviews. I am from Las Vegas, and we're the most hospitable, service-oriented people on the planet, okay? So I know how to provide good customer service. These other hosts are absolutely terrible, so I'm not giving Airbnb any of my money. So when I travel, I'll get something, anything with an air conditioning, a elevator, and a kitchenette. But since I'm starting to pack lighter, I don't need the elevator, and so I just need a backpack and a carry-on. So uh, that'll make it even cheaper finding places. And so my whole trips will be about $1,500. Um, that includes food because I'll go to the grocery store and I blog about this on my single mom fun and travel and including the cruises I'm going on. So, um, you know, I could save up $1,500 every two months with what I'm doing and keep my costs. So uh, what do you need and what do you want is the question. So, um, so for anyone out there who still wants real estate investing, um, my book, Investing in Real Properties for Beginners, is great. I've been talking on dating guys over here in Spain and England. It's sort of fun. I was talking to a couple, and they've already bought my book, which is sort of cool. <laughs> They're like, I can do the same thing here in Spain. Um, or I learned a lot. And that's sort of funny. I did not expect that. Uh, that it, My strategy crosses the pond. Isn't that funny? I, I think that's funny. Um, but yeah, what do you want? And get out of debt, think outside the box and lose the ego and status and be happy. And it wasn't that I was unhappy, but it's like I had to work. And who wants to work? I, I mean, I, I sound so crazy saying that, but who wants to work? So say you get an apartment, right? And an apartment has three bedrooms or two bedrooms. And your monthly expenses are like, I hope you guys can still me. your monthly expenses are like, because you have a roommate, 400 a month. You don't need to quit your job for that. You can have a low cost king job and still travel the world and da 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 da. So um, I'm running out of. Oh, never mind. I brought my charger. So yeah, there we go. Yeah. So um, even if you have an apartment, like what I'm telling you works. And remember, first house I had an apartment. I rented out the living room for six hundred, and that helped pay for the the Baltimore home, which was my first home, which was the proof of concept that the sub thirty k stuff really works. Um, yeah, it is. It's just, and like you said, like this last comment, Dr. Aisha, this is so true. I know so many high net worth individuals and we look so dopey, but we can bring money, you know, <laughs> like they look so dopey. Like they look, cause they're just like, uh, uh, they're, they're like money for this or money for that. So I look at his $3,000 St. Eve St. Laurent purse, super basic purse, $3,000. The conversion of my garage is 8,000. That will bring me alone sixteen to twenty five hundred a month, right? Using your house as a real estate investment. I use my house as a real estate investment. I use my apartment as a real estate investment, and I use my rentals as real estate investment. Okay, so use all of it, and that's what I mean by the outside the box thinking. And a lot of you are able to live this semi retired life right now. If you think, so I just want you to percolate on this. It's a little hard. Look at that car you have, and so I need. So if I need a new car. I've decided I'm just going to get 5000 and buy an old car. I'm not going to get a known. I'm not going to get the Lexus. I'm not going to, like, if I can buy a $5,000 old card and it's a Lexus, I will get that. It'll probably be, like, 10 years old, but mine is 16 years old or whatever, 2006 to 2013. That's four, 17. Mine's 17. It still works. So I'll buy a 10 year old car if that means I can pay cash and no longer go into debt. Um, and you have to get rid of the ego for that. But I think we're ready at this point. I think a lot of us has been living with the ego. We've been living with the status. And it's just tiring. And we're sort of done. So true. I'm telling you, all the people I know are so bummy. I was talking, um, I, I date a lot of guys of high net worth. It's just, it's just energy. You just attract people who are at your, 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 you just attract people by energy. You just attract people equally yoked to you. And, you know, he was, so, you know, three million and mostly in the stocks um, that he could liquidate when he wants bummy <laughs> like, like no i can put 500 dollars on crypto i'm not putting it in my car or to look nice. like i'm not putting it on that purse i'm just not i can make significant money with three thousand dollars significant right and so yeah that's the world we, i'd like for you guys to join us it's not bad <laughs> it's not bad as much and yes you have families you have i have a family too you can do that so i hope this was helpful i hope it gave you some ideas and like i said i just wish someone would have sat down and did this so my book is investing in rental properties for beginners please check it out i have a list below you can get a free copy just pay shipping below you'll absolutely like it if i'm going to spain and France, and I've had two people, one from Spain and one from France, get the book, and they got back to me and told me they liked it and that they could use it and that great. They tried to ask me questions for free on the low, but you ain't doing that. You can you can get a consultation. Um, it's free for you guys if you use this video or if you get the book. Um, 
but uh, yeah, so uh, you can do it. You can do it now. You can do it next week and with a kid. Okay. Um, you just got to budget a little bit, but like, I'd rather be doing this than not. So I hope this was helpful. Hope this just gave you some perspective that it's a lot more open to you. Um, that I understand that status and ego is very big for black Americans with our history and our country. And we finally made it out of poverty, but, um, there's a lot of broke black doctors and nurses and myself included who are in a lot of debt because we are trying to live that lifestyle. But, um, maybe it's time for us to do something else. Um, and your home is an asset. Your apartment's an asset. If I made $600 a month renting out my living room, my, my apartment was an asset, right? Um, and I'm thinking outside the box. You can get there a lot sooner. So, you know, what would you do if you got rid of all that credit card debt and loans and debt? Got rid of the cars, got something that was cash only. How much do you need to survive? Would it be about 2000 with kids and all the stuff they need? And would that be enough for you to travel? And can you do something part-time if you didn't have the ego involved? to do it so if you just came in i saw a lot of you guys are just coming in go ahead and start over at the beginning um i hope you guys join me in this quest uh so next uh, spring break i'm gonna do a cruise or something um with the with the kids for uh, my single mom and single mom traveling fun i'm gonna link that below if you guys want to join or keep posted on our group travel for other moms who are just trying to make things happen but also want to this is my first cruise and i'm having so much fun my daughter's in the i'm traveling norway the daughter's in kids club because she likes it um and so yeah we're just going to talk about our cruise life and travel life but i'm, I'm going to keep going on how real estate of all sorts your house an apartment or even a rental property if you think outside the box can all get you here a lot sooner than you think and i'm 41 and i'm not working another job i don't want to work for the rest of my life I'm going to live simply. I'm not going to get into any more debt. And we're going to budget. This is the life. The next 20 years. Um, still going to get my hair done. Still going to dress nice. Still going to look nice. Still going to have fun. But it's just not going to be with Alexis or expensive purses. Right? It's going to be with like investments. So I'd love for you guys to join me. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. Please click on the like or subscribe. Um, and check me out. I'm going to be posting more of my travel pictures of... Um, of how real estate and all of this was real estate. All of this using my apartment was real estate. Using my house is real estate. Currently, having rental properties get me the appreciation to pay off all my debt, so I can do that. Every single aspect of real estate investing got me here, and I encourage you to use one, two, three, all of them, in very simple ways to do it. I just had my first consultation with someone, um, Clara, on getting her house rental ready, and she had one idea, but we got it to another idea that was a lot faster and feasible and can get her making about $4,000 a month on her house very easily. So on her own house. So it's all connected. Um, I don't care. You give me a house or an apartment, I will make money off of it and live my life, and I'd love to show you. Oh, all right. Oh, this is fun. Bye from Norway. And I'm going to keep checking in because I want to do two more videos. What I'm going to be teaching my daughter about money, education system and whatnot, um, and real estate investing and all that and money just in general on the next vlog and some other items that just I wish I would have. And then things I wish I would have known 10 years ago because I'm living this life. And I was like, dang, I could have got here sooner. <laughs> no one sat me down. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for all the viewers.